Hello, State 764. This is Apache Kid, and I am wanting to start daily updates for our alliance. So let me jump right into it and let's get the conversation started. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people are new. This is a brand new server. So this is basically our home. And in the State 764, when you go out to the world map, you'll see that there are a lot of us that are connected in this game. Um, the biggest thing that from the world map is understanding who we may be going up against during COP and ROC. But really, the map is not that big of a deal other than locating where your enemies are where your bands are so basically there's four rings one two three and four on the map that make up the territories that we are dealing with um they're called bands so the desert band the green band the forest and then the mud um in the very center is the throne um because we're a new state we don't have a throne yet um, no one, no one has been, no one has battled for the throne and we don't have an emperor set yet that will be coming. And that is a part of what the events show. So as you can see in the events, battle for the throne is 23 days from now. That basically says within the next three, just a little bit over three weeks, there's going to be an alliance that is strong enough to take the throne. And if that alliance doesn't happen to be from our state because they come from out of state they can take our throne too so we want to work as hard as we can over the next three weeks to get as strong as we can that leads me to the dragon relic the dragon relic is a process um it is an event where we as an alliance have to start to grow and if we go maybe not so close in the map but we go out a little bit you can see right here, this alliance right here is starting to place their um, alliance command centers and they're starting to place their watchtowers. And they are building the area in which they get resources for their alliance. The alliance center, that's what we're working towards being able to build right now for our GXP alliance. We have to grow in technology as an alliance and we have to donate to have enough stone that we can build this alliance um, once this alliance command center is built and you put your watchtowers out that is complete and then you can move to the next band and do it in the next area and then the next band and the alliances that get up into this third band they are capable of battling for the throne we are a new alliance. We're not growing as fast as some of the others. So we're going to have a tough time getting all the way into that third band. I just want to focus on getting our initial technology working, which we can see that from here in the alliance area. And you can go into technology. Under combat, under this section right here, overall management, you want to be donating as much as you can. If you can spare some diamonds, Throw some diamonds at it. Um, I'm not asking for all of your diamonds. I'm not asking for any diamonds if you don't have them, but some would help. And once we max this out, it goes in levels. Level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. And you can see right here, we are at level zero, trying to get to level one, and we're only at 29.5. We need to get to 100K for us to get this 100 points once we get that 100 points, we are improving. Now, if we look at our building and we look at our Alliance Center, all right, basically the Alliance Center, let me go back real quick. I'm um, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, buildings, Alliance Center, we need 160 points in our technology and we need 5,000 stone for us to be able to start building our Alliance Center. That 160 means we need to complete this one and we need to complete this one. 
So those are, those are our two focuses. We need to complete those. So if we can get those done, we have the ability to start building. The next thing that will need to happen is in our Alliance store, this number right here will have to kick down enough rocks so then we can go and buy rocks. When you buy rocks, you're buying rocks with your technology, or I'm sorry, with your Alliance contribution points that you only get from donating to the Alliance. So that's important to donate. All right. With that being said, we are gathering currently around this um, small stadium. We're trying to build our alliance here. We do have competition. This is the uh, Fierce North that are already building their command center. Um, they are 20% done. It does not matter if they build one. We can build one. It matters if they build a perimeter around the entire small stadium. So if they put watchtowers all the way around, we can't do anything unless we destroy one of their watchtowers. So that's why it's essential that we get building as soon as possible so we can at least put our AC next to this so we don't get blocked out. All right, um, with that being said, Let's just kind of go over a few things. In your alliance, your members, you can see who your memberships are. Um, I am putting people and vetting people that are new. I'm watching to see how well they progress, how well they communicate, um, how well they react to the requests that I make. Those that respond and seem to be learning, I am putting into the students. Um, those that are quickly grasping, communicating well, moving to the places that I ask them to move to. Um, these are the people in the rising. So if you want to be a part of the rising or if you want to move out of vetting, you want to start paying attention and communicating. If you start to communicate with me, I can put you on the fast track, which is leadership, to not only help you maximize what you can do, but also help others in our alliance grow. Um, in our Alliance, we are ranked currently um, 54. So we have grown from 76 to 54 in about 24 hours. Um, we need to get ourselves into the top 20 to be protected. Um, what I mean by protected is NAP. NAP is agreement amongst alliances that they won't attack one another. Generally, NAP 20 is the rule for the state. So if we're within that, within the top 10 or top 20 rankings, we're pretty much protected from the top tiers attacking us. That's where we have to get. Right now, the current balance is set at 22 million. I'm sorry, 2.2 million to get into that top 20. And we are currently 1.3, almost 1.4. So we're doing a good job. We're, we're starting to build. We're starting to grow. It's very important that we continue that path. And the way we want to continue that path is focusing on two things right now. Inside your castle, you want to focus on building your castle up. Every time you go into your castle and you look at what needs to be upgraded, you want to take care of those. If it requires storage, if it requires your tavern, if it requires extra things, you want to make sure you're checking off the list to get your castle growing. Also, troops. You want to be focused on building troops. Troops contribute to your power number. Now, the quality of your troops right now, because we're starting out, I'm only focused on level one horsemen. This is level one horsemen for gathering. They have the strongest ability to take the most. So that's what you want to focus on. Um, I know eventually that I'm going to want to beef up my infantry. So I'm only focused on level one shielders. Um, but this, the archery, you want to upgrade the archery as fast as possible. You want to get it to the point where you are producing the highest level of troops, which for me right now is level four or T4. Um, that will give you combat capability. Once this castle is converted over its upgrade, I will be at C13. I will be able to upgrade my stable to level 13, and then I'll be able to produce level five infantry uh, elite bowmen that will allow me to to attack most people 
and most marauders fairly competently. Um, there are several things that go into getting battle ready. Um, so focus on castle upgrades, focus on your archery upgrades, always be building um, and always be producing troops. Um, don't forget about your Dragon Explorer. A lot of good things come from there. Always be focused on your main tasks and your daily tasks. And I think for a first day update, that's a lot of information. Guys, I, I am here to help. So if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's dedicated to our alliance. And I will continue to put out daily updates like this so we know how to grow and what we're focused on. All right, guys. Apache Kid is out. Hit me up if you have any questions.